Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I have an exciting fun video today. I'm gonna do another round of my challenge, Honey Slim Pickens. Honey's, Honey's Slim Pickens. And it's basically a challenge I created in April of last year. So it has been over a year, y'all. Been too long. And I explain everything in that video, but just to like recap, you basically get your honey, could be anybody, in the world that's your honey your spouse your daughter your grandma your significant other it could be any honey and just have them pick out five things for you to journal with oh my word it's getting dark outside just five things that's it so i have like this five theme going on lately but basically i don't count paper as like a thing um it could be a tool a supply a crayon whatever i have an entire playlist that i will link in the description of all the people who participated in the honey slim pickens challenge last year it was so much fun and so funny to see everybody's honeys like what is this like wondering what in the world things were my honey kind of knows more because like this is what i do all the time but it was hilarious to see some of the honeys um picking out stuff for their creative um people <laughs> so anyway this time i am not gonna be in the room with my honey last time i was in the room and i was i think i was talking too much i think i was still trying to hold on to control and so this time i'm gonna be completely out of the room oh my gosh what is he gonna do i don't even know what he's gonna pick out for me and then i'm gonna be doing a journal page with y'all here with the slim pickens so i hope you enjoy this video please tag along do it with me again this year i still have the hashtag it's on there honey slim pickens i will also put that in the description i really hope y'all have such a fun time with it and it really helps you to realize you don't really need much and that when you limit your pickings when you limit what you use in a journal page your mind can get more creative and you can learn things about a supply that you didn't know before thank y'all so much for watching please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already also if you love these kinds of videos these creative videos then if you would consider looking at my patreon i have tons of videos i think i have like almost 90 exclusive videos over there. My patrons are the ones that help me to continue to make videos here on YouTube and I've been so, so grateful for them. Thank you, thank you patrons. Pat a patron on the back if you know one. So I guess I'll let my honey take over now and we'll just, we'll see what happens. <laughs> oh, what the? Hi. Good thing I had pants on. This is my honey. Hey. Say hi, Dave. Hi, Dave. Well, me or them? No, everyone the, knows the who internet, are, actually. Internet. Okay, so I'm gonna set this up, David. I'm not even gonna be in the room. Okay. Um, do you want to hold this? Okay. Okay, now you have to go out, and you can't listen. No I'm, cheating. I'm leaving now. I'm gonna leave now. <laughs> no cheating. <laughs> don't. <laughs> don't be mean to me. Okay, so she left me in here, and I get to pick out all kinds of things. I think it's five things. I better make sure. And I kind of know what some things are now, and so I have the potential to be really dastardly, or I can be really nice. Maybe I could be like nicerly, or dastard. I don't know. But anyway, she's got like all these other random things laying around her office, and so I'm gonna pick out five weird things. Maybe, maybe not weird things. I don't know. You have to be able to put in a journal. Wipies? I'm just kidding. I wouldn't do that. Hammer wipey and scrunchy. Okay, I came in here kind of confident. I don't know what to pick out. Did I use that last time? I don't know. Okay, I redact my previous statement. I have no clue what I'm looking at. Someone's sneaking in the door. I can see the doorknob turned. You can't pick oils out either because that'll ruin my journal. No oils? No oils. I don't know what oils are. I know you put oil in your car and in your lawnmower and in some weed eaters you mix the oil and the gas and then sometimes your face gets oils. I don't know what art oils mean. I'm going through a washi tape and she doesn't even have her own washi in here. Are these oils? I don't know what to do besides acrylic and washi and that's only two things. 
I'll just go with the biggest paintbrush I can find. Are you done? No! Gosh, she's so nosy. I will tell her when she's done. Gold stuff, and I drop something, I gotta find it. And this is what dropped. I don't know if I should go with that, but I don't know where it came from either, so we'll go with this. Do we need to turn the camera around? I got your five things. You picked my pot of gold out. I did. Well, I use that one probably. Okay, that's fine. It's the same one, it's just this one's more used. Okay. Hmm, this? I, it's just my man boob in the picture, there's nothing. Oh. That's why I'm like, <laughs> all right, so see I've got your five things. Are you going to show the internet? You can show the internet. I already showed the internet oh, while I picked did? them out. They know what they are. Mm. And I got this because it dropped. Interesting. Well, and this? Yeah, the biggest paintbrush I could find. Hmm. I don't even know. It's going to be a simple page. Haha. <laughs> okay. I'm a simple man. I can do it. I can do this. Okay. I can do this. I will figure out what to do with this. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean to make it hard. I actually thought I was being nice. You thought you were being nice last time, too. I did? Yes. <laughs> oh, well. It'll be all right. It'll be all right. It'll be all right. Okay, so challenge accepted. So I can't use that. I can't use that. I can use these. What am I gonna do? Wow! And I can use that brush. Did we say that paint brushes were? I think paint brushes. I didn't. I I didn't include paint brushes. But I'm gonna challenge myself even further by only limiting myself to this paintbrush, which is ridiculous. But I'm gonna do it. I guess. Why do I put myself in these situations? I'm gonna put some paint down and maybe water it down to make like a little wash. Oh God. Let's give it like a watercolory effect since I am not able to use my watercolors. This brush is seriously ridiculous. Oh my goodness. Hey, it might look cool. I always end up surprising myself. <gasps> oh God. <laughs> I just got blue paint everywhere. <laughs> oh my gosh, do not do that with a huge paintbrush. <laughs> That's so bad. There's literally blue paint all over. Journals and tippins and my tripod and the wall. Oh my god, it's on the wall. Okay, this is a bad brush. Sorry. Can't do anything. I thought it would be more versatile because it has so many bristles. Oh my god. More does not always mean more. So, that's cool so far, I guess. I'm limited in my palette because I have blue and blue, but I'll figure it out. I'll figure out what to do. I'm going to dry this. I'm going to figure out if layering this will be best. Okay, I have to be super careful because I have a movie ticket on the other side and it's starting to disappear because of the heat of this heat gun. So, poop. Okay, that's all I feel comfortable doing with that ticket right there. Bummer. Okay, so it's not too bad. It kind of looks a little bit like watercolor-ish. -ish. I don't know. I'm wondering if I can like write on here with this lighter blue and make it like even a different color.
This is a Neo Color Aquarelle. Aquar it's, it's like a wax crayon that's water soluble. Soluble? Um. What's going on right now? Oh my goodness. I don't even know what I use this brush for. Why is this? Oh, I know why. It's to, I think it's to wipe off the charcoal spills. I don't even think I use this to paint. That's hilarious. So this is going to be a real simple page because I don't have a lot of like things to cut out. I literally have like paint and you know, some washi. I do want to use this. And I, I do have an idea for this. That actually kind of looks cool together. I really love abstract art, so. And scribbles, scribbles, expressionism. That's all like a fave of mine. The problem with this brush is it takes so daggum long to dry. It's like really wet and so it's hard to dry out. Like it's like saturated right now. Okay, so let me try, let me do this. This hasn't been taken out yet. Uh-uh. He hasn't? Nope. So this is my pot of gold that I love. I'm gonna attempt to see if this will work splattering and not all over my walls. I hope I don't waste a ton of this because of this brush. Did you get some of your Bible you said? No. Oh. That journal right there. I wish this was drier because I don't like that. Dang it. It's so wet. Okay, I think I need to like... Okay, that's better. I needed it more like concentrated and I want it to be more focused on this side. I didn't know that. Okay, it's a big chaotic crap mess in my house right now. I don't know what's happening. I'm going to dry this. Okay, I'm guessing that's okay. So it's not how I normally splatter the gold, the pot of gold. Um, this is way more wet. So it's hard. Like this whole thing is literally just a wet rag, like drenched. So I can't, I'm not going to do any more with this brush because it's not for journals. But I'm pleasantly surprised with how that turned out for using like a literal paint your wall <laughs> brush and a journal page. Show that to you again with this corrected. Here we go. It's not too bad. Can I see some of the shimmer shimmer? Which I talked about in my bling video. Okay, I'm gonna go wash this out and I'll be right back. I washed it and took a new paper towel and let it air dry for a week. <laughs> Hey Dave, where did you even get this brush from? I don't even know where he got that brush from. I'm gonna have to ask him. And then the last thing I want to do is a little bit of washi art with this washi, abstract washi. Hey. 
David? Where did you get that brush from? I don't know where you got it from. Right there, somewhere. Oh. A later time, I will, I don't think scissors counts, but my kids are cooking popcorn. I think at a later time, I could add something really cool right here, or maybe I could... Uh, put the date on a like a piece of watercolor paper and then cut it out and maybe like raise it up a little bit but that's all I really can do with this page I don't know what else I can do other than just putting some washi down the side maybe but I really like that line going this way really all right <clears throat> that's it that's my page Dave, do you want to see my page? That's actually really lovely. Wow. What you did with the washi tape was genius. Is it? It's like a peaceful chaos. I was quoting Doug. I was your quoting. Okay. You didn't think that was funny? I'm sorry. I'm actually... I don't, what are you doing? Making it more cool. Oh. That is cool. Just added two more cool points. What did you even pick out from them? All right. So that's it. That is my honey slim pickings. It kind of matches my nails. Which is kind of cool. Besides the red, um, I think I'm allowed to like stick something right here later, right? I yeah, I made I made it up. I can say what I want to do. <laughs> All right, y'all. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope that you are able to participate and that your honey will pick out some stuff for you, whether it be super slim or generous of stuff that you already use already. It's fun. It is fun. It was, um, I learned from this that just a little dab of this paint watered down can give you a watercolored effect with the right brush. I do not advise using a two inch brush for your journals because you will saturate through your pages. But um, with the cool brush, with the watercolor brush, you could really get a watercolor look if you don't have any watercolors and you just have these cheapo paints. You could do that. I actually might try another spread just using watered down washes of acrylic and see how that looks. So thanks Dave for picking that out. If you do this challenge and you post it on Instagram or something, use the hashtag honey slim pickings. And again, I'll put that down and I'll put it up here somewhere right here. Maybe please, please share with us your pages and any videos. If you want to, you don't have to do videos if you don't want to, but it's super fun to see the honeys picking out stuff <laughs> and I will see y'all later. Y'all have a great, great week. Bye.